get started in teaching you about WordPress. So this is the back end. Like I said, congratulations on getting your uh, website up and going. Very exciting. And so a couple of the things we're going to go over in WordPress is how to start your first post. So this is your uh, your menu on the side here and you can go into post you can click add new and once you get into here you're going to go ahead and add your title so let's say the title is welcome to our, our blog and you can go ahead and say hey guys we are super excited to have you here. Man, I can't spell. Can't wait to get to know you and connect about and help you with your finances. All right. Um, so up here, you're going to have a save draft. There's also a preview, so you can click this at any point in time, and it's going to preview what it looks like. Um, so like right here, we have welcome to our blog, and hello world. There's our first post. It's not live yet because we haven't published it, um, but you can fix the font size here. Let's see if I can move this over. You can fix this font size here. Um, you can fix color settings, advanced. Um, there's a bunch of different stuff you can do. But you're going to go ahead and click publish. So we want a visible publish right now. So you can schedule it out to another time if you want to schedule it for Monday morning or something. And go ahead and click publish. And it is live on the site. So there is our site and it is live. Very cool. So back into the dashboard here at the top, you just want to go to welcome dashboard and get inside there. Um, so to create your categories, so if you are a personal finance blog, I keep going back to that because that's easy for me to talk about. Um, you can go into categories here and there's gonna be a bunch of notifications at the top. You can most likely clear those out once you read them. But to add a category, you just go right here, save money and your slug. Your slug is the uh, back half of your URL. So the savvycouple.com backslash save money is what this would be. So this one's backslash how to start a blog. Um, and you can put a description and then go ahead and add the category. Oh. oh, it's already in. So save money, slugs here, description will go here, and it tells you how many um, posts you have in that category. You can also go into pages. So if you want to do a welcome page or a privacy page or a work with us page, um, that's something that you can do right here. Simply click add new and you'll be all set, ready to go. I do want to go back and go to posts here. So it looks like there is two types of editors. There's the Gutenberg, which is rolling out currently um, this year. And there's also the classic editor. We are used to the classic editor. So I'm going to go back in and kind of show you what that looks like. So again, you can say 10 ways to save money. And inside here, you have your, hey everyone, I love saving money. Don't you? And inside here, again, you're going to have the option to save it as a draft, preview it, um, pick when you want it to be published, pick which type of article it is, the category. So we now have the save money category. You can add tags. So I recommend adding three to four to five tags per article um, that's related to the article. So this would be money, save, frugal type stuff like that. And then to add a featured image here, you can go ahead and select and we will go ahead and pick this picture. It's automatically going to upload it. And you can set it as your featured image. So now that's part of the article as well. 
So let's go ahead and we're going to publish this one as well. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. And right here, you just click View Posts. And we have 10 ways to save money. There is the featured image. Hey everyone, I love saving money, don't you? Your comment box. So it's starting to come together here. Um, and now back into the dashboard. So this is your media library. We should have our first picture in there, which we do. You can come through here and you can delete, you can add in captions and all that type of good stuff. Good place to be. We've talked about pages. Um, the next one is comments. So when you start getting traffic to your blog and people are leaving comments, you can approve them here, you can reply to them, you can, uh, and if they're spam, you can spam them or trash them. That's good to know. Um, and then we're gonna talk about plugins quite a bit in a second here. You have users, so right now, since you are the only user, there's only gonna be you, but as you um, add people on as freelance writers or possibly editors, or maybe your spouse is helping you on the blog, kind of like our situation, you can have multiple accounts, which is good. Um, and you have some tools, settings, and we're gonna go into general settings here. And one of the things I want to tell everyone right off the bat is to make sure that your URLs are set up correctly, which I will try to find for you. Maybe it's permalinks. Okay, so it already is set up correctly now. Um, but one thing you definitely wanna do is just make sure that the post name is your URL structure. So it, it's gonna go Kellen Klein backslash how to be productive instead of Kellen Klein backslash the date in between and then how to be productive. You just want your domain name and then the uh, slug for the sample post. So this is all set up correctly, that's good to know. Um, but here in general settings, you can come in, you can put your site title, tagline. So my site title could be Kellen Klein and my tagline could be live life to the fullest type of thing. Um, and you're gonna go ahead and save that. And you can go into some writing stuff. So you can have your primary category be save money. So if you, sit, if you write mostly about saving money, it's automatically gonna pick that, which is good. And you can come into plugins now. So plugins are kind of like, let's see. Plugins are very much just like an app on your phone. So it's a way to make your site look how you want it. Um, you can have contact forms so people can contact you. You can put in Google Analytics. You can put in um, a plugin that helps your site speed. Um, there's all types of different plugins that you can use, um, but I'm going to go through some of our favorites here. Um, and I think I'm going to do that on our site. So once you do have your site up and running, the best way I have found to get to the back end of the site is to type in your URL backslash admin and then bookmark that so that you have it forever and you don't have to try to find it every time. So we're gonna go ahead and log in here. I'm gonna go through some of our must-have plugins for new bloggers. So installed plugins. So the first one is AskMet, anti-spam. Um, this isn't necessary right off the bat, but it is good to have. It protects your blog from getting a bunch of spam comments, which will happen the more traffic that you get. Um, Auto-optimize, this is also another good plugin. It just helps you optimize your site make it run nice and smooth and fast. Um, it is a little bit more of an advanced plugin, so um, it might take some tweaking to go into the settings, which you can go right here and pick and choose which settings you want. And if you don't, one word of caution, if you don't know what you're doing um, and you're not tech savvy like we are, just keep it really basic and simple. There's no reason to have 10 different plugins um, and be messing around with all the settings. You're more likely to hurt something than fix it. Um, and any time that you do run into a problem, you can simply contact Bluehost and they'd be more than willing to help you. So as far as plugins go, the less plugins you have, the better. Uh, the more plugins that you put on your site, the more chance of 
something going wrong or a plugin breaking or not being updated correctly. And the more plugins that you have, the slower your site is. So you want a nice, fast, user-friendly site. So less is more when it comes to plugins. Just want to make that quick note. <clears throat> um, so going down here, let's see. Jetpack. So this is an all-in-one plugin. It helps with um, a bunch of different things. It helps with site speed. You can use it for comments. You can use it for security. It's a really all-in-one plugin. A lot of people like to use it. Um, and it works out really well. You can also use Pretty Links. This is a way to, once you get into blogging and you start with affiliate marketing and you're starting to link to a lot of different products and services, this is a way to clean up the link. So you can have it the savvy couple backslash uh, Bluehost instead of the savvy couple backslash with a bunch of numbers and letters that go on, on and on and on to track the linking. So this makes it super easy. And one that we definitely highly recommend is Short Pixel. It's absolutely free. Um, it's gonna compress your images. So anytime you upload an image, it's gonna make it really nice and small for you so it's not slowing down your website and making your website bulky. Very important. Social Warfare, this is a plugin that we use for our social media sharing buttons on all of our articles. Um, it works really, really well. It's a paid product. There is a free version which you can use for free, but that is one that we recommend. Uh, Vault Press is a way to back up your website. Um, Bluehost will do backups automatically for you. It's always a good idea to possibly, just in case something were to happen with Bluehost, um, which never was the case for us, but it's nice to have a backup on your own. Then we're coming down to the end here, WordFence Security. So this is an antivirus malware scan. So this kind of tells you if anything's going on with your website, which Bluehost will do automatically, but like I said, it's always nice to do it on your own as well. So WordFence is a plugin that a lot of people use. Absolutely free. And the last one is SEO Yoast. So if you're blogging for the long term, uh, ranking in Google should be one of your priorities. And SEO Yoast is a great plugin to kind of help you go about um, doing that correctly and figuring out the basics of SEO. So that should be a pretty good overview here. Um, there's not much more I need to tell you. And anytime you want to go visit your site, you can just simply click on the home button here, visit site, and it's going to pop up and bring you to the site. And everyone's is going to look a little different, obviously. Um, this is a site that we paid to get customly built. It was quite expensive. So you can work your way up to something like this. But um, when you're first starting, just get content out, focus on um, getting content, learning how to drive traffic, and then you can start optimizing for other things. But let's go back into the one I just created. So anytime you need to delete a plugin or get rid of one, you can simply deactivate it and say I no longer need it. And it's already deactivated, and then you can simply delete it if you, if you really don't want it anymore. And that's uh, an easy way to do that. Um, Let's go ahead and install a plugin for you just so you can see that in real time. And we'll install Short Pixel, which is the plugin that I highly, highly recommend everyone gets. It's right here, Short Pixel Image Optimizer. Simply click Install, and it looks like it's installed. You can click Activate here, or you can go into Installed Plugins. And let's see. Short pixel. So you can click activate. And that's like installing the app on your phone, like I mentioned. So super easy. Hopefully, this is a good overview of WordPress, guys. Um, and you're all set. You can just go ahead into the settings and go through those to get it all set up correctly. Um, your dashboard. Let's talk about that real quick. So, your dashboard you can set up. And you can actually have your own WordPress tutorial if you're just getting started. Um, you can click business or personal if you know what you're doing. That might be really useful if you're just getting started. Um, for now, I'm just going to click I don't need help. But that is a tutorial that Bluehost or WordPress will give you. Um, and there's a bunch of notifications at the top. So you can customize your site, write your first blog post. This is really nice, easily laid out, explain exactly what to do. Inside your dashboard, there's these little carrots that you can simply close 
and you can move around however you want. So you can create your dashboard however you want. You can have your stats up there. You can have a way to start a quick draft. So if you have an, a blog post idea, you can type it in there, click save. It's going to save as a draft, nice and easy. Um, and that's basically it for the back end of WordPress. If you guys have any questions or comments, um, please ask in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to help. So the next thing we're going to do here is talk about customizing your theme. So <clears throat> you can simply click customize your theme. Um, but if this isn't here, which it might not be, if you accidentally exit out of it, you can always go to appearance and customize.